All right, everybody, welcome back to Around the Clock Sonic News. And recently, Sega dropped a ton of brand new updated details for Sonic Cross Shadow Generation. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into the news. Now, as you can see here, Sega has updated the key art for this game, and it looks a lot different from the original key art that they gave us. You see there that there's three child on the right hand side, and they're all light blue. You also see Doom's eye on the left hand side. Also, the platforms that Shadow and both Sonics are standing on, they are a little more detailed compared to the ones that are on the original key art. So let's take a look at the original key art compared to this one here. And as you can see there, yes, they are a lot different. You can see that the background is a lot darker compared to the original version. And there's also some chaos spirits coming from the back of Shadow and both Sonics too. So yeah, we got some brand new key art and it looks really dope. Now moving on, Sega also announced that Sonic Cross Shadow Generations is now available for pre-order on the Nintendo eShop. The good old days are back. Receive a nostalgic Sonic Adventure Legacy skin when you pre-order either the standard or digital deluxe editions. And for those of you who don't know what they're talking about, right down the right hand corner you see the Sonic Adventure Legacy skin and we also get our first look at some gameplay or I should say a preview of some gameplay for Sonic Cross Shadow Generations running on the Nintendo Switch console. And you can tell it's running on a Switch just by how the grass looks and I have to clarify something here because that render of Sonic that you see in your screens here is not the modern day version of Sonic in Sonic Cross Shadow Generations no it's that Dreamcast legacy skin version of Sonic so I wanted to make that very clear before people get in the comment section and say that this game looks horrible Sonic's model looks horrible running on the switch this is that Dreamcast legacy skin that you get by buying the deluxe version the digital deluxe version I should say of this game now moving on yes you can see right now that this is available right now in the eShop to pre-order. The regular version is $49.99 and the game file size on the Switch is 13.1 gigabytes so it's a decent sized game. The digital deluxe version of this game on the Switch is $59.99 and the game file size for this version is 14.1 gigabytes so a little bit over the original one. Now we also have some new screenshots of this Dreamcast Legacy skin and these screenshots are not taken on the Switch from my understanding. I believe this is from the PC version of the game so regardless it still looks really dope and we also have some shots of Kingdom Valley with that large eagle as well as Shadow the Hedgehog and it looks really detailed man I'm not gonna lie. Uh, especially compared to the original version of this game it looks really good. Now to end things off here Sega also dropped the Kingdom Valley song from this game on all streaming platforms as you can see here they have on Apple Music as well as Spotify and YouTube Music as well and here's a quick sample of this from the recent trailer. So yeah man, the music sounds incredible and I believe it's arranged by Odyssey. It sounds really good. It's available right now for $1.29 and if I'm not mistaken, the entire soundtrack for this game will drop alongside the game when it releases later on this October. So yeah man, this is really dope. So with that being said guys, that's going to do it for this video and please make sure to like this video, share this video and for all of you out there that are watching this video right now and are not already subscribed, wait, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on daily Sonic News content and I'll catch you guys in the next video.